Hi friends, Chitra here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn how can we use the multiple super trends in our trading. So if you are using multiple super trends that is with the different ATR and with the different length the accuracy will be more. That is using multiple super trends on a single chart give us the edge of seeing through the eyes of different parameters all on the same screen at the same time. So if we are, we are using the multiple super trends in the same screen and also the time frame also we are not changing. Okay, whatever time frame we are trading we are keeping the same time frame. We can see how a lower value multiplier super trends moves in comparison with the higher value multiplier and makes the proper decision. We can use it to time our entries and exit in the best possible way. So these are the advantages if you are using multiple super trends instead of using the single super trend. So this is a concept that builds upon the basic concept of super trend and is best utilized after some trading experience with the super trend. So we need to know analyze the multiple super trends with the different time frames and we can do lots of back test after you no know, uh, before applying this same concept in our trading. So now we are going to see what are the advantages of using the multiple super trends. The basic idea is that we initiate a trade only when the super trends plotted on the chart show the same trend direction that is the double super trends will should show in the same direction. We use Q, you know, reacting super trend to anticipate the entries as well as the exits. Super trend to confirm the entries and exits. Also, multiple super trends can be used as an effective trailing SL indicator and to gauge the strength uh, strength of the trend. That is, we can use to trail the uh, stop loss also when we are into the long and the short trade. So, using multiple super trends that also helps to identify the false signals and whipsaws. That is, if we are the uh, sideways markets, it will help us to you know, avoid not to enter into the trades. When the trend is strong, multiple super trends help us to get quick risk reward and we can enter into the trade and we can book our quick profits also based on the pullback entries. Till now, we have learned what are the advantages of using multiple super trends in our trading. So here I have added two super trends. Okay, the first super trend go to the settings. The length is five and the factor is three. Okay, style I have not changed anything. Okay, the color of the up arrow is green and down arrow is brown in color. Click on OK and the second super trend the settings inputs is length is 10 and factor is three. Now click on OK. Okay, so we will see one example. This is the bank nifty 21st July. All right. So here the first is the red candle price open little gap up and first is the red candle that is five minutes time frame I'm using. First is the red candle. Okay, so here we are not initiating any trades using the super trends. So we will be waiting for the price to touch the super trend and what is the you know, price action telling at super trend. So we are waiting for the price to give a breakdown below the uh, super trend. So this is the support level. Once the support level is uh, taken away or broken, then we can consider entering into the short trade. So this red candle gave a close below this particular support. So keeping the high of this red candle as stop loss, we can enter into the trade. Okay, once this low of this uh, red candle is broken, we can consider entering into the short trade. Okay, we can trail our profits or once you are into profits uh, in the options, bank nifty option, you can book your profits. Okay. And after that, we'll be entering into the long trade only above this green candle that is 150 candle because this is the resistance when we are into the short trade. You should enter into the long trade once this particular super trend that is high of this a super trend. If we are getting any green candle above this, then only we can consider entering into the long trade trade okay after that we got like nice move uh, in bank nifty we can capture like 50 to 60 points in option after that we can exit the trade so this is the 24th june bank nifty okay here the price opened gap down and the price is far from the super trend so we are not initiating any trade so as i told you if you are in the downtrend this particular you know level of super trend will act as the resistance level okay so you should enter into the long trade only when we are getting any green candle above the super trend level okay you should uh, get a green candle above both the super trend okay so we are waiting for the green candle as the trend is uptrend okay so we are using uh, we got this green candle and we can keep the low of this uh, green candle as stop loss and high uh, once this high is broken we can consider entering into the long trade and we can book our quick profits okay 
so the price was in the consolidation phase but the price didn't give a breakdown below this particular super trend so if you are a long trade this super trend level will act as the support okay the next day that is 25th june price opened no a little far from the super trend okay and we can see here the price took support at the uh, length 5 and factor 3 the first super trend price took support so uh, until unless the support is not broken we are not going to enter into any short trade so if the price is far from the super trend it will attract the super trend and after that once this uh, no price is taking support from here we can consider entering into the long trade and you can see after that we got nice uh, you know up move in bank nifty all right now we can see few examples from the nifty 50 okay so this is the nifty 50 chart okay and this is the uh, 18th june 915 candle first candle is a red candle and we can see that there is uh, no super trend and the price is little far and once the price has no taken support that is the uh, 1230 candle has taken support at the super trend the super trend uh, length is we can uh, click on here and we can see the length that is 5 and the factor is 3 from here the super trend has taken support so we will not be entering into the short trade we can consider entering into the long trade above this green candle so this green candle is also a pin bar candle also a hammer candle so one can consider entering into the long trade above this high of this green candle keeping the low uh, of this green candle as stop loss okay so once you enter into the trade we got nice uh, move in the nifty also okay so we can see the next day how it worked okay so here this is 19th june nifty opened little gap up and after that price you know has taken support in this particular uh, super trend so as the price is in the consolidation phase we are waiting for the perfect entry so uh, we can enter into the short trade okay here this is a green candle but this high is not taken away okay so we will not consider entering into the long trade so we will be waiting uh, for the price to give a breakdown below this two super trends so if you are entering into any long and short trade we have to wait for both the super trends to give the sell uh, no entry so this red candle is a, a big uh, red candle also this red candle uh, has uh, no broken this particular support level so one can consider entering into the short trade below this red candle keeping the high of this red candle as a stop loss so here i am showing all this uh, no uh, chart in the uh, zero da so you can see the same in the trading view also okay uh, below this uh, red candle you can consider entering into the short trade and you can book your profits and there is no uh, no fixed uh, uh, points you have to keep okay and you can use other em uh, indicators like moving averages or uh, pivot points in order to increase the accuracy of the uh, you know of your trade so in, in my next video i will come up with how to use super trend along with other indicators to in order to improve your accuracy okay so here you can book your profits all right and here also we can see after the price has given breakout super trend is acting as a support once the price has taken support okay this is 135 candle you can consider entering into the long trade so before that no need to uh, take any trades so we can see few examples from the stocks too this is the bajaj finser uh, stock okay five minutes time frame i have taken so for intraday i usually prefer to enter the trades and to see the charts in five minutes okay if you want to see the in three minutes also the super trend uh, no, will change okay so this is a 9 15 candle of 1st july we can see the price is little far from the super trend and price is in the consolidation phase so here we can see that there is a resistance level that at the super trend okay that is a 150 candle so if you are if, if we see that the price is facing resistance at the super uh, super trend we can consider entering into the short trade okay so here we can see after that we got a no small down move okay the next day the price you uh, know opened below the super trend and after that we can see that there is a huge move in the uh, stock okay and again uh, after that price has retraced till the super trend value and after that again we got the rejection from the super trend again we got a red candle and uh, no uh, have this is a doji candle this is a uh, hammer candle and after that we got an indecision candle again we can consider entering into the short trade below this okay 
and when to uh, enter into the long trade above this you know once the price has taken or broken the super trend level we can consider entering into the long trade okay above this green candle we can consider entering into the long trade and we can see that there is a huge up move in the bajaj finsev hope this video is useful to you please don't forget to like share and subscribe click the bell icon too for my upcoming video notifications thank you for watching